What's going on, everybody? It has been a while. We are out at uh, Noble's Truck Stop off of 75 North of Lexington. Uh, I don't know the exit number. I'll put it up here whenever I figure it out. But uh, it's a good little truck stop. They got they got lots of parking, as you guys can see. Um, good little restaurant in there. So if you're in this way, coming down or north on 75, definitely stop in and get you something to eat. They got good coffee in there, too billiards table you play some pool in the back it's nice uh but the reason we're here and you see my trailer dropped behind me uh let me turn uh is because of this <laughs> so you know we just got the in frame done got on the road and now let's see here we uh had to have the old uh old spindle cut off and put it back on we welded a new one on yesterday and had to let it cool off all that good stuff there's the old one but she's trashed right there on the bottom if you guys can see that like that's the the grooves uh the bearings were all messed up but you see the drum the drum got smoking hot which is fantastic that's a brand new drum brand new shoes um and i noticed I doing a pre-trip and i noticed all this on the on the shoes like that's not good so I checked it out and I thought it was a wheel seal but uh, it turns out that that all of that is from the um, the S cam tube that was under there and the bushings in it are worn out getting a new brake chamber uh, I don't know I guess they took it all inside to work on it but yeah so this has been exciting. I've been here for, oh, 40 hours now, which is great. It's a good time. Oh, that's hot. Um, but yeah, it's not very, not very fun whenever you just get your truck back out of the shop and then less than a week later, it's back in the shop. But it happened the same way well, last time when I had my uh, I had the front cover replaced on the on the on this Detroit. It was down for almost a month. It took them forever to do it. I would not recommend that shop whatsoever in Gallatin. Um, Sumner truck and trailer. Just read the reviews. Uh, but this place here, Cross Diesel, uh, these are just some some good old boys. Like they're they're good people. Uh, same thing with the uh, Sumner or Sumner uh, Southern Diesel Corporation in Franklin, Kentucky. They're the ones that did the rebuild. Uh, excellent guys there. Mike and Kelly are are freaking awesome. Uh, I would definitely recommend anybody that needs to go there to get an in frame done, get engine work. Uh, those are your guys. Um, these guys have been good. I, I pulled in the day before yesterday at like two o'clock. Um, 2 30 ish and it was like hey I got a wheel seal that I think is leaking and possibly a slack adjuster well they pulled the tires off and you seen the drum was white uh, and it was supposed to be black because it's literally brand new I put it on just before I in framed it so it doesn't have very many miles on it maybe 5,000 miles but uh, it got hot and turns out that the chamber that I just put on uh, Speedco cut the rod too short on it so when he when he cranked on the the slack adjuster to, to loosen up the slack adjuster um, the rod that came out of the chamber was like really short it was almost like the slack adjuster was almost oh, all the way up against the the bottom of the, the chamber and uh, I'll put some pictures up here so you guys see what I'm talking about um, the the rod itself was like moving all around it was just really strange so either the chamber was bad or speed kill cut the rod too short and it was overworking the brake, causing it to get hot, which then caused the bearings to get hot. And yeah, uh, oozed out some, some fluid from the S cam tube. But yeah, that's the, that's what's going on. So hopefully I can get them to take care of some of this bill because we're looking at almost $3,000 for the spindle to be cut off and put on. And that one's already been done, so it shouldn't have had to have been done uh, 
so soon at all. But I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, you should have just bought a new, you know, got a used uh, airliner um, housing. But the time it took to get that, you know, and it, like it's it's roughly going to cost the same amount of money. Uh, and that's not even guaranteeing that the spindles are good on it. So it is what it is. This is what was available the quickest uh, at, at a reasonable price. So it's all good. Um, yeah, so now we're just kind of waiting on them to well, hold this phone with the other arm here. Uh, waiting on them to put it back together. Because, we, you know, you get the spindle cut off and then you have to wait so long to actually have the you know everything put back together because it's so hot they got to torch everything and I'll, I'll throw some pictures up here so you guys can kind of see what I'm what I'm talking about if you've never seen a spindle cut off and uh, welded back on but uh, yeah so we have a load of tires on in our trailer that's in that trailer route there that one that one there that mobile home has been there for a long time it's like split in half if y'all can see the yeah <laughs> anywho uh, and that was supposed to deliver on Tuesday. It is now Wednesday in Elkhart, Indiana. So thankfully they've been awesome with me and dealing with the craziness of all this. Um, and they're going to let me deliver tomorrow morning, which is fantastic. Didn't have to get it repowered. Um, but yeah, so once they get this thing done, we're going to get the heck out of here and get on the road, pound some pavement. Um, yeah it's been I'm, I'm like itching I'm like chomping at the bit ready to go so <clears throat> anywho I'll let you guys know here in a bit well we uh we're all hooked back up to the old trailer and I'm trying to get some of this dirt out of the, to the floor Woo, she's nasty she's a dirty girl anywho got everything taken care of got her all back on and got another trail. Got a new break, new chamber. Oh, oh, oh new stuff. Ooh. Oh yeah. Anywho, we uh gotta get the heck out of here. Get on the road, get up to we gotta go to Elkhart, Indiana. And we don't have too far to go, few, like five hours, five and a half hours. So we're gonna pass the pavement. I uh, I did also replace some of these lights. Like on the, you can tell the difference of the new ones versus the old ones. I guess the new one, I replaced it. Um, this is the old one, it's like all yellowed. And some of the, the LEDs like stopped working. So do not buy your chicken lights or marker clearance lights off of Amazon. It's a bad idea. The, uh, the chrome peels off, and then you wind up with stuff like that. Um, you can see the difference again, you know, new, old. <laughs> but yeah, like on the visor, all the black, because the chrome just peels off. It's kind of dumb, but are they working? Yeah, they're working, okay. Yeah, let's get on the road. I never made love in a pinto Tell me has anyone You just can't get to the bird plane If the darn old thing won't run Spent more time in a tow truck Than in my baby's arms I never made love in a pinto Tell me has anyone Alright guys, we uh We're gonna pull out of this loves
Well, I went inside and they said, <laughs> gotta wait on a door. Dock 10 is open, but they said they'd come out and let me know uh, where to go. I don't know if they just don't unload loose tires at Dock 10 or, or whatever, but no big deal. Um, hurry up and wait. I mean, it's I sat at that at that shop getting the, the spindle and everything taken care of for almost 48 hours, like 47 hours and some change. So uh, I think a few more minutes isn't gonna hurt, right? <laughs> Sit out here and wait. But it's all good. We'll uh, just hang out. I don't know. I need to clean the truck because it's, it's pretty nasty from all the dirt and everything from that yard. But we'll get to that. I think like a deep clean is one of the things you kind of got to be in the mood for. And I'm just not in the mood for it right now. Right? I just don't care. Like I care because it's dirty, but I don't care. I don't know what I'm talking about. Like just... I'm so over this week already. Like just exhausted of everything. But anywho, we're uh, just gonna hurry up and wait. All right, well after another hour and 25 minutes sitting there, we uh, got this old girl opened up and they told me to go in this dock that this driver just came out of. We got a load of tires. Shouldn't take too long. Probably gonna take them another hour or so. this old girl ah stupid freaking trailer <laughs> probably not gonna slide the tandems but we're gonna put it right there at 17 let's go I guess I'm going to do like a somewhat blind side here too bad
we be? So I, uh, you know, you guys know that I collect stickers, right? Like, that's kind of the thing, just stickers everywhere. Um, I got one from the diesel shop that I'm going to put. I think I'm going to put it on the, the chrome thing down there in front of the whatever that panel is. Um, the fuse panel there. Stick it on there somewhere. And, yeah. But I'm going to clean this truck. I've been sitting here for a few minutes. I finally got some paperwork uh, filed that I needed to take care of. Uh, and I'm talking about like my receipts. I, I write down everything. I use an app simply wise um, Take pictures of it and then I, I put everything in a manila folder for different categories of, of what they are so took care of that um, and I'm gonna get out the vacuum and Clean this truck because it's as you guys can see the floor is kind of Kind of funky from walking in it and all that stuff, but I figured I'd show you guys kind of how this works how everything is stored just that and then that get all shot back is back here boom plug this old girl up to the everything i got's an old girl i just figured that out i say that a lot don't i <clears throat> this guy going to play basketball Bro, unload my trailer. Where? Why are you going to play basketball? So, like, there's a legit hoop over there too. Must be break time. That's pretty neat. Wonder if they let the other drivers use it. Oh, buddy. Let's get all this taken care of. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get cleaned up here. I'd like to have like a a big Tyson, or Tyson, geez, a Dyson kind of thing, like a shark or something, something I could just wheel around, but this thing works so well for like everything that it's hard to justify buying something that doesn't have like a hose attachment or something. I've had this thing for like five years. A little Craftsman shop vac, it's been great. Oh, and I got a table. Y'all didn't realize that already. I just installed a hook there to keep it on the wall on the mattress or the couch whatever and then you don't even know it's there Well, we got it cleaned up a little bit. They uh, wound up giving me my paperwork, so we're good to go. I'm gonna pull out of the old dock here and shut the doors. We uh, had an agent call about a load that asked if I was interested. It's preloaded, it's ready to go. And I'm excited because uh, it's gonna run me through the house for the weekend, so that's nice. But anywho, let's uh, I'm not gonna be able to shut the doors here, so we'll uh, I'm have to pull out. And I got another truck right here that I'm gonna wait to see what he does, and then we'll sneak out the gate. I guess we can just pull up and shut the doors real quick. That makes sense to me. Let's just do that. Oh, yeah, nothing like good quality equipment. Oh, this door. Yep, yep, yep. Wonderful smell of tires in the morning. I need to get me my strap out of there. Let's do that real quick.
they still haven't opened the gate yet. We're gonna update our logbook, guys, and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, look at that. They got a nice little basketball court and everything. It's pretty sweet. How lazy was that, huh? Just make sure she's in the locked position the way she's supposed to be. Yeah. I, uh, I had to get a new latch for my toolbox here. Because I went to pull it open and it wouldn't release. The inside of it broke. But this one's a whole lot better. Like, the mechanism is, like, really nice. And it just moves so much nicer than the old one. It was like a cheap bar that uh, moved over. But anywho, let's uh, get these gloves off and let's get on the road, guys. I will see you guys on the next one. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. Love y'all. Continue to seek God and praise Him. Let your family know you love them. Carry a weapon. Make it better. See y'all.